I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 5, and let's focus on verses 7 and 8. Don't continue to supply the people with straw for making bricks as before. They must go and gather straw for themselves, but require the same quota of bricks from them as they were making before, and do not reduce it, for they are slackers. That is why they're crying out, let us go and sacrifice to our God. You know, the world is out for itself. I don't think that's anything new. Make no doubt about it, to the world and worldly leaders, people are nothing more than resources. They're merely a means to a selfish business end. Pharaoh had one thing on his mind, and that was productivity. Because he was solely focused on the product of their labor, Pharaoh failed to recognize a key factor in the Israelites' productivity, their spiritual well-being. And in that sense, Pharaoh is not very different from many employers in today's workforce. This slave mentality toward employees was especially true of the big bosses of generations past. In an era like the Great Depression and what led up to it, You see, theirs was the generation of workers who had to fight against industrialist giants and formed labor laws to protect work environments. And for such employers, you and I are expendable assets. We're like gasoline in a car's tank. When the tank runs dry, well, you just refill it and move on. What is most important to the heartless machine operator is that the car runs. Who cares about the well-being of the expendable parts? But isn't a machine comprised of the sum of its parts? Therefore, every part is integral to the performance of the machine. The truth is, you are not expendable. You are expensive. That is, that you are of such great worth to the Lord. In the eyes of God, people are not disposable resources to robotically do His bidding. God loves us, not for what we can do for Him, by the way. To God, we have a value beyond our productivity. He doesn't need us, but He wants us. And His desire to use us is simply because of His great affection toward us. How much does God love us, by the way? Well, He gave His life for us. Consider Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God demonstrates His own love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We don't cry out and worship God because we're weak slackers, as Pharaoh alleged. We cry out because God created us with the expressed intent that we worship Him. God designed us to worship And He invites us to enter into adoption as sons and daughters through our belief in His Son, the Messiah, Jesus. Worship is not weakness. It is the height of performance when we reach our most productive potential. You know, Bob Dylan once sang, you got to serve somebody. Given the choice between the pharaohs of this world and the Lord God, should we even have to think twice? I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Check us out at groundworksministries.com.